Hi everyone. After a short pause in Homey World 3 update, a new update is in front of you. Today we will focus on fleet. Evolution not revolution, is the best way to describe the fleet designs. The fleet design in Homey World 3 will have its own style, but still have strong DNA from the previous games. The drastic change between Homey World 1 and Homey World 2 are justified narratively, just how a civilization can hit a technological plateau before the next event brings in new wonders. For Homey World 3 it is the opening of hyperspace gates, so we'll need a new more mature fleet to brave the unknown. The DNA of previous's homey world is still very strong, the challenge from the start has always been forward facing and seeing the franchise blaze into new territory, but still preserve familiarity of a beloved IP. The style of homey world 3 would be closer to deserts of Karak, but there will be more of a sense of scale, with more contextual visual effects, strong gay behavior in units, and strong emphasis on environmental storytelling. Homey world particularly the first game, has given an excellent sense of scale. In Homey World 3 the yard's tick of measure is even larger. The size between ships will remain consistent with previous games, but the journey is more vast. BPI do this with a galactic meta map in between missions, that answers three important questions. Where have you been? Where are you now? Where are you going? In Homey World 3 player are going to encounter different foes. The game design and narrative are constantly evolving throughout the development. Let's use raiders as an example. These are people that live on the fringes of galaxy. They formed gangs and started to pick off transport ships along the gate network. They're a biker gang that wears their own colors and styling. Their fleet would be made of reposter parts from raids, but because they are an organization, they would still be cohesive. That's it for now. See you in the next update. Bye. The carrier has been destroyed.